Hi, and welcome back, Dad, uh, and other people, if you ever see this. Um, so, we are Morocco. Uh, we're moving in. We found some barbarians. Our scouts are exploring this continent that we seem to share with uh, three little city-states, <coughs> England and Portugal. Um, Brussels is under attack. Um, if someone in defeats the barbarian units in their territory, they will reward them with friendship and food and such. Uh, we're interested in taking them up on that offer as it would be a nice way to gain influence with them. All right, we're gonna fortify our troops there until healed. The workers, I think they're wrapping up that plantation. All right, two turns until the Great Library is done, but it's a race against other civilizations which may or may not be building it. Okay, this worker is done. It'll take him three turns to get there. Um, it'll take four turns for masonry to finish. Let's start building a farm here next turn. Okay, these barbarians are pretty beat up. If they attack us, we might defeat them. Our scouts aren't a match for a full-strength barbarian warrior set. But obviously this guy's going down. Oh, but we get attacked from behind. Uh, it does hurt. Libraries are the shrine where all the relics yes. of the ancient saints, full of true virtue, and that without delusion or imposture, are preserved and reposed. Thank you, Sir Francis Bacon, who that quote was from. We get a free technology and a free library. Uh, also, um, there are great works that uh, can be created and the Great Library is a good repository for these great works which increase your culture and influence uh, just by owning them. Okay, we are sub-progressive here, but that's because we focused really hard. Let's open our tech tree. Um, we want the most bang for our, our freebie here. Uh, we're gonna take Uh huh. One of these two, uh, twelve turns. So this will save us twelve turns of research. The Parthenon Writers Guild. Amphitheaters. Culture, National Epic. Mm. Or we can go for temples. Well, what do we need? So let's come back to this. Let's open our tech tree. What do we need for civil service? Oh, we can't. I believe drama and poetry is what's actually required. I don't see a line going from here to here. So we're going to take drama and poetry for free. What is drama but life with the dull bits cut out? <clears throat> Very true. One second, we're going to blow my nose. Pardon me. All right, so uh, we just got free drama and poetry, which means that we just caught up with everyone else on the progressive scale. Um, and we can now build an amphitheater, uh, also a national epic. So um, national, there are national things. They're kind of like wonders in that you can only build them once, but every culture can build one of each. So we'll have our own national epic, the Moroccan national epic, 
and England will have theirs. So it's not exclusive to one person. Um, the Parthenon, however, is a wonder and is exclusive. Uh, we might consider building it. It's a nice culture boost and um, comes with a pre-made great work of art, uh, which is also more culture boosting. Proud is the spirit of Zeus fostered kings. Their honor comes from Zeus, and Zeus, god of counsel, loves them. So with the advent of drama, we have entered the classical era, and we step away from what, the ancient era? Uh, let me check. What are the eras? No. Well, we'll be fine. All right, there are many, many things to build now. Uh, we can't build a library because we just built one, which also is upping our science by six, uh, tripling our science production, basically. Um, we can build a writer's guild. It allows us to generate great writers by assigning specialists to it. <coughs> if we want to go pure culture victory. Uh, we also have a new social policy. Wow, everything's happening at once. Um, I guess the classical era is pretty good. So as we unlock the classical era, we also unlock patronage and aesthetics. Um, aesthetics improves the civiliz civilization's ability to generate culture. Um, all right, which is nice. This is kind of arts and culture, which are good things. Uh, they do help us interact with other people. Patronage um, enhances the benefits of city-state friendship. Uh, this is actually a good idea. We're surrounded by city-states. Um, this lets us maintain and benefit more from uh, our city-states. And we'll increase our gold from trade routes with those city-states. <clears throat> but for now, legalism. Provides a free culture building in your first four cities. That might be... That might just give us an amphitheater. Now, one thing you can do is you can wait to take the legalism until you have, like, four cities and stuff, but I don't think we're into that. We want to just get through all of this. Yes, we got a free amphitheater. Which is nice. What does the amphitheater do? Ah, here it is. Uh, plus one culture, and yeah, it's got room for a great work of writing. Can't remember how you produce those, but it will come eventually. Now, what are we looking at here? We can build a stoneworks. It will increase our happiness and our production by one. And whenever anyone works this tile or this tile or this one, we will get extra production. So that sounds great. Because we need production. We could build a mine right here if we felt like it. Yes, here we go. We're going to let production slow down a bit. We're going to go here to build a quarry next turn. We want to attack these guys. Our scouts can certainly beat them up. Brussels, now we have 12. Um, All right, city-states are asking for things. <clears throat> Florence has given us a quest. They would like barbarians nearby destroyed. Um, yeah. 
the scholars, uh, sorry, that was, who was that? Florence. Brussels would like us to create a great general that comes from combat, generally. And then uh, Brussels is pleased to have us helping them out. Now you can gift them with money or units and things like that. Or you can do their their quests. <coughs> Great way. All right, our warriors are back up to snuff. How happy are those whose walls already rise. Virgil. Well said, Virgil. All right, allows us to build walls to improve the defense of our cities. Um, also allows us to construct, uh, allows workers to construct quarries on marble and to clear away marshes, uh, which are relatively poor types of tiles. Okay, we're going to move up here and heal those guys, I think. Well, really. Florence would like this camp destroyed. Let's uh, send our warriors over to do that. They can probably do it on their own. Open the tech tree and look at where we're going next. I want Hmm. Let's work towards the wheel. Um We'll gain archers first, and then chariot archers, which can use those horses that we don't have just yet. And we can start building roads. <coughs> now, what are we building here? Ah, yes, the stonework. Get our production up, and then we can build other things. Plus, uh, with more food coming in, we're looking better. Our population is going to be rising. All right, if we construct a quarry here, this tile is going to be worth two production instead of just one and two food, which is going to be great. Cape Town desires a trade route, which mirrors what we want. Um, these archers really need to go, uh, and we are close enough to attack them right off the bat, which will weaken their attack next turn. Uh, how range units suffer a great deal. Um, from being engaged by melee units. Uh, and we also gain XP from every combat against barbarians up to a certain amount. Uh, Cape Town, where is... Cape Town wants a trade route, and I would love to send one that way. I don't believe there are barbarians between us. Um, we just need to wait for our stoneworks to finish up. All right, we get shot, but we've already beat them up pretty badly. The haft of the arrow had been feathered with one of the eagle's own plumes. We often give our enemies the means of our own destruction. Thank you, Aesop. Uh, archery allows us to build archers, and then the Temple of Artemis Wonder becomes available. Uh, plus 10% food growth in all cities, plus 15% production when building ranged units. Uh, and it provides a little bit of culture. Um, and that's nice and all, but we're focused on other things. Brussels also wants this barbarian encampment gone. So maybe we can do some, a uh, little bit of combat to help out our friends. Now, we may wipe these archers out this turn. Excellent. That one slow guy. I don't think we're promoted yet. Okay, we understood that unmet players entered the classical era. Sure. Oh, also, I forgot to say, now we have wine in our 
Um, we gain four extra happiness from having at least one wine. It's for every different luxury resource that is like wine and what are they, jewel, gems, spices, incense. For every single unique copy of that you have, you get four extra happiness, which is how you keep your empire pleased. Now, um, we would like to, we don't need this happiness at the moment. Um, and I would say that Maria of Portugal might be interested in trading. Sou todo ouvidos. Certamente que não. Hmm, she doesn't really have enough cash to pay up for that, but maybe again? the Queen of England. Go ahead. She's willing to give us five gold per Would you be turn interested in a trade turns. agreement with England? So that's 125 total gold. Okay. And she'd give us horses or something. What about all of your gold per turn? Very okay. well. We didn't want her horses. So we just took straight gold. That's seven times twenty-five is a nice what? 175 cash over the course of the next 25 turns, uh, which is really going to help us speed build um, some things. Uh, defenses if we have to, but I'd much rather build, say, a granary or a caravan. Um, while our city builds for free, other things. Okay, unit needs orders. Um, they can rest and heal, or if they're in the capital, Let's rest, they would heal faster. These guys have pretty much the same choice. <coughs> Panama City seeks investors. Hi, the kid day. Alexandro say me, who is on an acton kai ekonos ton teo. Welcome, stranger. I am Alexander, ruler of these lands. I seek strong friends or enemies worthy of my blade. Which are you, I wonder? All right, so we've met Alexander, and Greece announces to the world that it is now protecting Panama City. Attacking the city-state or demanding tribute will incur their wrath. Panama City. Gold gifts are templar temporarily more effective. All right. Oh, look, there's some weakened barbarians there. Oh, there are archers moving in on us from the right. All right, we finished that. True. Yes, the quarry is done. Increasing our production. These scouts will be enough to take out those archers. Um, we're going to fortify and heal right there. And... <clears throat> what are we going to do? We could cut down forests for extra production. Let's move them to a safer place over here and build a farm on this nice river adjacent place. And with the stoneworks wrapping up, our production will be quite nice. Greece is protecting Brussels, it says. Wisdom and virtue are like the two wheels of a car. Japanese proverb. Very nice. Okay, with the advent of the wheel, we can create chariot archers, which require horses, but are quite potent and fast. Um, they do have trouble in difficult terrain. Um, water mills, which are excellent. They give us food and production. It's a building inside our city. Um, it does cost a good bit of money, but the production food is worth it. And we can construct a road. Water mills can only be constructed if you're next to a river. Uh, 
We kind of need to establish another city somewhere. But there aren't really great spots for it. Let us pump out a caravan first. Roads, we have no need of roads at the moment. You work on the farm. We need to protect <coughs> this quarry. We need to research something. The hanging gardens would be nice. That would greatly boost our food output. And we do want to get to Petra. Um, Petra gives us a little bit of culture on its own. It also increases food and production for all desert tiles worked by this city. And we gain an additional trade route slot and a caravan immediately. Um, and it's worth more culture later. City must be built on or next to a desert tile. And unfortunately, we are not. Um, uh, I could put a city right here. Troublesome. Well, perhaps I should sail. Let's go for optics. Uh, we should start exploring the world, get off our continent. Um, <clears throat> this is kind of bad news for us. Um, We're going to move away. That's too many bad guys to handle. Barbarians. Cape Town doesn't like barbarians. Florence wants a great profit. We're no longer getting money from Portugal. All right. The barbarians are looking pretty beefy here. But Portugal's got some warriors out over that way. Marrakech gets bigger. And begins working this tile. If there's an enemy standing on it, you can't work it. Um, but we don't have an improvement there, like this quarry, or this pasture. So they can't raid it. Um, the scouts are just going to sit here and heal. These guys are going to sit here and heal. If anything comes at them, they will be well placed to destroy it. Which one's Cape Town? Cape Town's under attack. Um, that's bad news for them. Temple of Artemis was built, so it lets you know when a wonder has been built. Alright, the archers are moving in on us. We're going to move here. We're going to have to get closer if they want to hurt us, but like I said, we can't use that tile anymore. So someone has shifted over here, which is fine. Some people want us to find natural wonders. We're building this farm. These guys are healing. We'll leave you there. Okay, they move out. He who commands the sea has command of everything. We can now establish two trade routes. 
of which we've established none, unfortunately. Um, and we have the basic work boat, kind of a worker of the sea. Um, triremes, which are your basic naval attack ships, and cargo ships, which are your trade ships. Okay, our scouts are up to full health. We're not paying maintenance on them because of our social policies. These guys aren't quite healed yet. Just fortify there. <coughs> Greece is protecting Florence. Mariketh wants incense. Uh, we can actually, if they do that, we will get a very large growth bonus if we can get incense. Um, fortunately, there were a lot of people providing incense. Uh, Cape Town? Cape Town looks the best. We can get 25 influence. Where is... Okay, there's a Barbarians on the other side of them. We could... So, Spices... It would be nice to have a plantation on them for the happiness, and we could sell it, but there are these nasty barbarians. Uh, we may need... to purchase a... should perhaps purchase some archers. With our hard won gold. They shouldn't be able to see us, I don't think. Okay, all the tiles are being improved. Let's go here and build a farm, I think. I think we can build a farm there. It is next to a river. <clears throat> okay, these guys are healed up. We've got plans that no longer involve being friends with besties with those other guys. Okay, these archers are going to move out. The scout is going to make sure our caravan go where it needs to go. Uh, we're going to build another caravan since we just got the ability. Establish trade route. We want it with Cape Town. Now if we establish with Lisbon we get a little bit of science, but Cape Town wants to be friends and we want incense. Um, <clears throat> Things do get pretty tricky around here, uh, and of course this, you see the green line shows our trade route. Barbarians can pillage that, um, which is bad news for all involved. Uh, so we definitely want to scout out the area between us. Now we established a trade route like they asked. Um, we are immediately gaining a good deal of gold, uh, more than we were. Three, I think. Ah, uh, here we are. 3.8 gold to us. 
and they get one. So much better for us. We are probably also spreading our religion a little bit. Uh, note that we have three religious followers in our city out of four populations, so our, our city is mostly converted. <coughs> Okay, we can build a farm here, and we're definitely going to, because we like the extra faith that this desert tile produces for us. Elizabeth is in the classical era. Sounds like she's a little, little behind. All right, it's been our 25 turns. Um, citizens of Cape Town are glad to see our trade route. So now we are friends. Um, our influence will slowly degrade. Um, we can freely pass their borders and they give two food to our capital, which is fine because that's all we have right now. Um, we also have their incense. And if we get some military units down there, we can gain, probably keep our influence steady. Okay, those spearmen are bad news. Um, we're going to have to defend against that. Which I suppose means we need the archers over here too. Too many barbarians. Oh, that is bad. Bad news. Um, we're going to purchase another archer, <laughs> which we'll have next turn and hope that we don't get pillaged. Um, the friendliness and the plus two food, uh, sure, that is nice. But barbarians betwixt us, bad news. All right, our trade route was plundered, which means, yep, our trade route is now gone, but the friendliness remains, which means we will be getting food from these guys for quite a while. Um, those guys, that's bad. And they have a little trireme, which is also bad. All right, monarchy will save for last because it's dependent on citizens in the capital, and we only have four, so it's kind of small bonus. Um, landed elite. 10% food growth and plus two food in the capital. Yes, we'll take it. Our population will grow quite quickly, which increases everything. <clears throat> I think they're gonna get to pillage our plantation, unfortunately. My scouts probably aren't up to fighting these guys alone. Train. Yeah. Okay, these archers. Let's wipe out these spearmen as quickly as possible. Lucky us. You made an instrument to know if the moon shine at full or no. Alright, uh, we're gonna wrap it up after this turn. Uh, he made it in here. Samuel Butler. We can now build the lighthouse. A great lighthouse is a wonder that counts as a lighthouse and makes all your naval units faster and see further. And then any of our units can now cross water. Uh, something I would love to do with my scouts. Uh, unfortunately, there seem to be barbarians everywhere. Okay. I think we do extra damage for being up on a hill. Put these archers over here. Take out those guys. And we are on a hill. They are not, so... Our, our experience. We're <clears throat> very tough here. 
uh, thanks to our previous experiences fighting on rough terrain. Uh, and with the archers backing us up, we can certainly take these guys. All right, it's time for research. Uh-huh. Caravansary, looks nice. Let's go for mathematics. I want to start working on the hanging gardens. And we're about to produce another caravan. <coughs> we're safe to put it. We have the least pointiest sticks almost. Um, Elizabeth is a very aggressive player. Lots of army. Our archers will continue to rain death on these guys. Our melee units will clean them up. Mariketh has gained a new citizen, reaching size 5. Can produce new things. What do we need most? We need to get a new city up and running. I think we need some. We need a bigger military, really. Archers are kind of a, a perfect military unit. Um, they're not always necessarily damaged. Warriors are okay, just for getting experience. Oh look, there's someone else's scouts are hunkered down being attacked by these archers. We definitely want to start working this marble as soon as possible. It'll help us build wonders. Marble contributes greatly to wonder production. Unit needs orders. Well, we can establish a trade route somewhere. Uh, maybe not quite yet, but Lisbon looks like where I want to go. And I've already got troops lined up to guard that trade route, so... We'll establish that in a second. Uh, you just do nothing this turn. Alexander wants an embassy. I don't know where he is. Uh, I would like to set that up. So now he has an embassy in my main city. And there's Athens way up there. Okay, we see these scouts taking a beating. Our warriors earned a promotion. They can be amphibious, so they can attack across the Sea River without penalty. Oh, I've definitely gone on way too long. I'll explain this when I get back. Uh, so thanks for watching. Dad, uh, we're, we're going a little slow here. I think we've kind of been procrastinating. We don't have a second city up just because uh, all I see is more of the same around my primary city and I want to make a really nice spot. Uh, looks like York happened here, so we're going to have to consider where to expand to uh, pretty soon. Right now we're just kind of insular isolationists. Alright, I will pick this up when I come back. Thank you for watching.